Hey, what's up my high level peeps? I uh, just wanted to bring you a little bit of value here today. Uh, on high level, there's a couple things that I was struggling with that it didn't quite work for me. And I made a post about this in the community. I know that the team in high level is working on making this better. And I think uh, they said, mentioned maybe this quarter it's gonna be fixed, but we all know that sometimes things get delayed. So uh, this is in regards to duplicate opportunities. What I wanna show you and what a lot of people don't even realize is that if you have a pipeline, and here's an example of my high level account uh, pipeline, and I'm in the real estate niche, but this goes really to anybody, um, you know, even if you had products, you sold multiple products, if you potentially had a client in the same pipeline with multiple different opportunities. So for me, it represents uh, two different properties that this particular person is selling. Uh, for you, it could represent two different products that they're buying from you. So the way this works in high level is when you have two opportunities connected to the same contact, it actually uh, sees that as a duplicate opportunity. There is nothing in automations right now that can say only do this trigger to this opportunity. So for instance, if I have an automation that says move this automatically when something happens on the back end, maybe they book an appointment, move it automatically over to offer made or appointment booked, if one of the other opportunities connected to that contact is sitting in the same stage and this moves over to booked appointment, nothing's going to happen because high level is going to say, hey, we already have Gabe with an opportunity here. It doesn't know that it has a different title. It doesn't know it's a different property on the back end. It just sees it as the same thing. So, um, you know, another use case was is whenever I was, uh, I had automations that when these were sitting in my contract signed, I'm not going to drop it there because it'll trigger off some automations. But when I have it, it sitting there, it would automatically go to seller contract sign when the contract was signed. And then it was supposed to mark it as one and then uh, update some custom fields I had. Um, you know, and here I have uh, lots of different custom fields for my property and when different things happen, um, I need those uh, fields to be updated specifically only on this property. But it, again, the problem is if there's two opportunities connected to the same contact, it glitches out. It doesn't know which opportunity. In fact, I did a lot of testing and I found out that normally most of the automations will be applied to the original one that was created. So what's the fix? Um, it is using an external platform such as Pabbly, Make, or Zapier. Um, it seems silly that with all the automations Go High Level can do that you would have to use an external system. But um, I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. Uh, I currently am using Pabbly, and whenever you connect it with a system like Pabbly, Make, or Zapier, uh, that system is actually forced um, to have to recognize which opportunity it's doing the automation to. So Fortunately, when you use the webhook to push the data over, it pushes data over such as the opportunity ID, which in my opinion should already be available to us, but it's not available. It's only available when you push the webhook to an external source. So that way I can grab it and then I can push data back and say update this opportunity based on the ID. So what that looks like, if I open up my uh, Pabbly here, um, I have lead connector. And when you do a webhook with lead connector, it gives you the webhook URL. It gives you the instructions here on how to add the webhook into Go High Level, paste this URL in your action, and connect it. You have to do, um, if I want this connected, I, you know, I actually have to do something like move it in the pipeline, and then it'll recapture the response. And then um, when you click on response received, it gives you all the data you need from that opportunity. So. Now that we have everything we need, this is a simple, a simple filter step I have here. This is unrelated to the problem, so I'm going to skip over that. Um, and then my last step here, I just have a router um, in Pabbly. It's a router. It's uh, you know you can do all the same stuff in Zapier. Basically, it just is an if else statement. So this is saying you know if it was a buyer, do this. If it was a seller, do this. So we'll just click into one of those routes, and I'll show you what that looks like. So I have. The filter here saying, you know, whether it's a buyer or seller, and then it's going to update the opportunity. And here's what it looks like. Here's where it says opportunity ID. 
and we can click into here. We go to the webhook that was received, which pushes over that opportunity ID. And now I can say, you know, exactly, I can tell Pabli, this is the opportunity I'm wanting to uh, actually update. Um, so then I can take it and I got all my custom fields listed down here and I can update any of these fields or do anything uh, as it moves along in the stage and high level. So I uh, just wanted to show that to all you guys out there that might possibly be struggling. Um, I've worked a lot with Go High Level and it actually took me a while to figure this one out. Um, I reached out into the community and some people had um, some weird solutions that didn't work. Uh, really, this is the only for sure, for sure solution that you can use. And it took me a while to figure this out. So I just want to share that with anyone else. I uh, hope you see it as value. And uh, if you need help with this, you know, you can definitely reach out to me. Um, I do a lot with automations and different things like that and have helped a lot of people and happy to, uh, you know, point you in the right direction. So uh, you guys have a good rest of your Tuesday.